why should producers write things down and what should they record? Records are very important. If you don't have a record of it, it might not have happened. Simple as that. And so here I have an example of uh, some vaccine records or types of records that are available from the Verified Beef Plus program. Uh, you can go online. Many of you may have taken the course and the training. Perhaps you have an operation that is certified. You can take a look at the examples that they have um, and see what works for you. Uh, you are welcome to take them and modify them to, to suit your own needs. We also have one here that's a little more set up for kind of a group situation. You see at the bottom here, you're able to put the individual animal's ID and of course you have the dates, the times and the dose. The most important thing with vaccinations is that you put down the date, of course, uh, the type of product that you used, um, the route of administration and most importantly, and I can't stress this enough, all vaccines have a withdrawal period or a period of time that you must wait before the animal is slaughtered and used for food consumption. That is imperative that you write that down and that you recognize that. So uh, that's, that's one of the most important things that you need to, to be aware of when you're looking at vaccine records. Vaccine records don't have to be a standard system that's available online. There are also computerized systems that work very well. Um, and here I have a couple of examples of, of some pretty simple systems. Again, like I said, if you don't write it down, it might not have happened. Here is a simple scribbler uh, that uh, my family likes to use sh sh uh, shoot side. They basically have it color coded. They, they like the pink color. They know where it is. They can see it in a pile. Uh, they actually work in pencil because that, that pencils always work at cold temperatures and they just basically write it down. They then have a system that they have modified from the verified beef uh, example uh, where we basically put all of our treatments in uh, just very similar to this type of form here that's in my left hand and they put all their treatments in the dates and they've looked up the withdrawal times and they, we actually have a space here to put the initials uh, for who administered it or who maintained the records. So that works really, really quite well. And then they have additional examples here. And then we keep these records uh, once the year has gone by, so a calendar year, we'll take those records and we keep them on file so that we're always able to go back and see uh, what we did when and, and uh, if there were any issues. And, and, and also it, it keeps a, a antibiotic treatment record as well with that. So again, here's another example, just some heifer calves that we vaccinated, written down somewhere. And then it's important to make sure that you have some kind of a filing system. I think, uh, you know, if you're gonna write things down, that's one thing and it's a good thing, it's a good first step. But if you tend to throw your papers in the truck or in your pocket, or if they go through the washing machine, uh, then those records are essentially useless. So work on having a nice system. And uh, this is where I, I advocate clipboards and files, I find that that works really well keep it at a place that uh, where everybody works um, another thing you want to keep in mind too is uh, particularly records where where you can't duplicate them easily um, I think it's important to perhaps have a copy of them so computerized systems lend themselves well to this so that you can send that uh, spreadsheet on to a, to another individual you can do a backup system uh, if you're doing a paper system it doesn't hurt to have a photocopy and keep your records in another spot mm -hmm.